Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for a jewelry jar on jarring, unbagging, bag unbagging. It's the same thing, it's jewels. We're going to look inside and see what's in it. My hoard is starting to go down. <laughs> I don't know how long this will last with the... Well, they were already getting depleted. They, they weren't very easy to find. And now, with the Goodwills being closed... I don't know when we're going to see more jewelry jars, but it's okay. It's better to, to see a stocked grocery store, right? That's what I'd like to see. Uh, we are not in two dire straits here. We have what we need. Thank God, but I hope you have what you need. And if you don't, I hope you get it very soon. Because um, that's what's important right now. But we do have some jars that I've had from prior hauls and I'm going to look through them and see what we find. I may start doing uh, shorter videos guys. I'm going to do some recorded videos of course um, because I know a lot of y'all are working from home as well as will I be. So I may shorten the videos. What am I dropping? All of the little things that are stuck to the magnet. I may do shorter videos throughout the day. I'm thinking of coming in like daily just for like a little vlog a little how's everyone go doing hello not a real deep you know heart to heart like i do on monday nights but just a quick little vlog and maybe show you around um, what i'm doing how, to, how i'm trying to stay busy and um, how i'm trying to cheer myself up because this can definitely get to you after a week and um, well it had been more than a week for me because i was just planning to have a spring break and spring break turned into um, you know a very very long furlough so <laughs> we'll see how that happens but let me know how you feel about that or I may just if the bags are really big I may do half and then do the other half uh, because I also want to do some face-to-face -face videos and I kind of miss doing that and I don't want to just do it you know on Monday night so I think I'm going to do a, a vlog style video maybe daily I'm trying to think of what I'm going to call it and I'm trying to figure out whether I should, I really want to do it early in the morning, not real early. There's a lot of talk shows on in the morning, reseller shows and all of that. So I don't want it to be that kind of a show. I just really want it to be a vlog style, you know, what are you doing? What am I doing? That kind of thing. Let me know with a thumbs up if you like that idea. And let me say hello to the 22 people that are here. We have Gail. How are you, Miss Gail? I did some shipping today for my auction, so many of you should be getting your items, but I posted something in my Facebook group because I was taken aback by the fact that I was printing and printing labels, and then all of a sudden I got a prompt that said, you can't print anymore until you connect your, your bank, and I've been, that bank has been connected for 10 years to PayPal, so I didn't. You know, I didn't uh, w understand why, but I called them and they said it was kind of a security precaution. And then when I called, I had to call like three times because the first couple of times I called and I know they're working from home, but I really like to speak to people that sound a little bit more professional. And when they use things like, uh, like, <laughs> like I just use like, <laughs> or when they use verbiage that doesn't sound professional, I tend to, you know, my antennae goes up. So, and then, you know, they really do use the, the PayPal email and they can really get you in a lot of different ways. So be very, very leery of anything you're getting out there. Anybody that asks you for personal information, I know we've been taught this before, but they're getting really good at it. They're making personal calls. They're offering free items and free trips, you know. So just be really careful out there with any kind of phone call you get. Um yeah, and so anyway, I still haven't straightened it out. They straightened it out for me, and I was able to print one more label. After, Like I said, I had printed like 20 labels, and they went off to the post office today. So if you guys don't get your stuff uh, by Saturday, it's not because I didn't try, but I'm going to try to get everybody's there by Saturday. Anyway, uh, be very careful, very leery of anyone who calls you. There's a lot of people that are uh, giving you that three-month window or 90-day window, I think it is. I know AT&T is giving you a chance to pay your bill if you can't pay your phone bill. So be sure and take advantage of all of those things. Call all of your, um, all of the, you know, the loan people that come to whatever, your bills, you know, your like everything. They all have extensions, but if you don't ask for them, they won't give them to you. But I just happened to call my phone company. Why did I call my phone company? Oh, the bill seemed a little big or something. I don't know. But anyway, and the first thing they said was, we are extending it through so-and-so. 
for 90 days. So I didn't take that extension because then I'll get all confused. I went ahead and paid it. But just to let you guys know, plus people know that they're doing that kind of thing. So they may call you. They may ask you for personal information. I know you've been told a million times, but I just, you know, don't, I hate to hear. Oops, there went the scissors. To hear about somebody getting taken advantage of in a situation like this. But unfortunately, there are some scum out there who operate on other people's misery. So be very, very leery, okay? Uh, that is one thing I did hear. Also, Xfinity, if you guys have children or grandchildren that are having to stay home, Xfinity is also granting free Wi-Fi and internet access for two months, two or three months or something like that. So find out about all of those things that are available to you guys, okay? Because we will get through this. But anyway, let me know if you want me to come on daily just for a little check-in, probably not, like I said, not at 8 o'clock, but 10 or so, or after I check in with my real work, <laughs> my real job. And and this way I, I stay kind of motivated, like I feel like I have, you know, a place to check into. So I'm going to check in with y'all, check in with my boss, check in with my students. We're also like on a, um, what do you call it? We're like on a schedule. They're calling it office hours. So like one person will do it for two hours. The other person will do it for the other two hours. So there's going to be a lot of free time on my hands. Either way you look at it. All right, let's see what popped out of the jar. And it looks like Candy's here. Lisa, Pino, Cindy, Dodds, how are you? Oh, good, good. Thank you. I will do that. I will do that. We'll pour ourselves a cup of coffee. We'll look at the birds or something outside and uh, look at my weeds growing in the yard. Maybe we'll do something out there. But we will do just a quick little check-in, see how everyone's doing and handling things. All right, let me see who else is here. Karen, Lucas, Roxanne. You're still in trouble with PayPal. Oh my gosh. Yes. And be sure that you always change and keep current on your addresses as well. I know I had a problem today with someone who the labels were coming out fine, but then when we printed out a priority label, it came out with her old address. So careful with all of that, guys. Hey, Karen. Good. I'm so glad you're here live. Guillermo, well, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, Julie, Shirley, Cinnamon. Hey, Jude. And uh, Teresa and guys turn on that music in the morning. I don't know if you want to listen to well, I was listening to Pavarotti the other day because I watched the news when they were talking about uh, Hi Barb and Sanja and Candy. They're talking about the Italians singing from their rooftops and you know when they were having their real rig the really big spike a couple of weeks ago or last week. And they were singing Pavarotti. And then I was like, you know what? I haven't listened to Pavarotti in forever. And oh my gosh, is it exhilarating. It really is. So put on your favorite music, whether it be show tunes or classical or good old rock and roll. And put that on. It will change your mood. I guarantee you. Look at this. This is pretty rocker chick, isn't it? I like that. That's kind of cute. It's got big rhinestones. I think it's real leather. It sure feels like it. So, yeah, I am liking that. And I might let you listen to the music of the day for about 30 seconds. Because after 30 seconds, they can copyright, copyright strike. We'll see what happens. My husband did hoard the coffee today. He brought a whole lot of... Um, the beans, the ones that you have to grind. grind. Up. Ooh, Gucci. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Look at this, guys. Gucci made in Italy. And it's got the little... Oh, my gosh. This is totally authentic. You know why I say that? Because it's not ostentatious. It's not like overly logo. Here you go. It's the understated Gucci. Wow. Bingo. Look at that. Gucci made in Italy. I'll have to look this up. Look at that. What a steal of a deal. And can you see what's in the in the little rivet? I'm gonna see what it is. I can't even see it without my with wow, it's the oh my gosh, it's the it's the old school Gucci logo. I I need a loop to see it, guys. So it's got the crest with like the like some kind of goddess in the middle and then it says Gucci across. I remember when they used to do their um their zipper pulls with that. Can you see it? That is 100% authentic, I can guarantee you. Wow. That is amazing. 
and it says 21 on it. I guess they're numbered or something. I am so excited. <laughs> that is incredible, I'm telling you. And it opens like this. This goes through there. Then this goes like that, and it's fabulous leather. It says Gucci over here as well. Oh my goodness gracious. I would have never thought that would be in here ever. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> oh, wow. And these leather things are getting so popular. I was checking out. I know this is a um, company that kind of grew on YouTube, actually. But I think they originally had an Etsy shop. Okay, it says AG925. This is sterling, guys. And then it says 503 next to it with another kind of a... You know, AG means sterling, right? And then it says 925. Anyway, uh, another company called Hitchcock. Hitchcock Madrano, I think it is. Anyway, they are really into the leather bands. And they're the ones that kind of put that big old oversized heart on the map. Like it's a 14 karat gold map. I mean, 14 karat gold heart with oxidized chains. Look at that, guys. 925. Bingo. Oh, my goodness gracious. This was a 29 99 wasn't it? $29.99? Yes, $29.99. Anyway, so these bands, these leather things are like the, the latest thing right now. This is so awesome. I can't figure out how to put it back on. Okay, wait. i got to put the buckle in. Oh, my goodness gracious. All I ever see of Gucci is um, watches occasionally. This is like a man's. Right? Because it's big. I can't tighten it. Must be a man's. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. That is so cool. That is cool. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know how else you would adjust it. You really can't make it any tighter. Oh my goodness. I just can't stop staring at it. It's so nice, guys. Really, really cool. I'll have to look it up and see what is up with that. But uh, I wish it would fit me, but it's not. It's a gentleman's Gucci. Nice. Kind of a biker vibe or something there, too. Rocker vibe. Anyway, so those leather things are really popular. Hitchcock Madrano is doing those. But right now, they're actually doing... I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I was because <clears throat> I love that heart. But right now, they're doing a, a big sale at their uh, website. They have really cool stuff. This one actually is the paper type, guys. They're very pretty and purple. And um, let me bring this light a little closer. It has a, uh, a tag, which I've never seen. I've never actually seen them use a tag on these. They're usually kind of uh, homemade. This one says something lily, I think. Let me see what this says. Looks like 60 people are here. I do appreciate you spending a little time with me. Be sure and hit that thumbs up. Foley Life. What does it say, babe? I don't know. For Life. Something for Life. Bead for Life. Oh, Bead for Life. Okay. I don't know. I guess it's a beading company. That's what it says. And it does have the matching earrings. So that's pretty. Very nice. This is a pretty little statement piece right here. Roses, black roses. It's cute. That's pretty. I like that. Very nice. And a wood piece. We just started, Vanessa, but you missed uh, the bracelet. You missed the designer bracelet. You'll have to rewind it. <laughs> a designer, yes, a designer bracelet just popped out. And it's not red, your, your least favorite color. Oh, look at this. It's going to go with all of the uh, white I'm wearing today, all the ivory and faux ivory and enamel. That's cute. Big. Okay, the magnet got stuck to this. This is so cute. Where's my little display thing? Let me get that. So 
so we can see how pretty. Hopefully I don't drop anything. This is a bracelet? I think this is a bracelet. I thought it was a necklace. And it's magnet. Oh my goodness. You got the matching bracelet to the black heart. Where's the black heart? Um, here's the, the bracelet. It's Gucci. Sterling silver. Can you believe it, Vanessa? I cannot believe it. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Okay, I don't know how this goes, guys, because it's magnetized. But some of them are curled. Some of them, I guess they drape differently. I don't know. They don't even fit me. Look, and I don't have a big wrist. I don't know how this goes. Maybe it goes to another part of a necklace. This is awfully small. You know, what do you think? It's very cool. I like that. Here's a stretch. Pretty beads on these though. They're kind of heavy. I think they're glass or ceramic. Big hoops. Nice. I like these with the twist. Maybe, I know. Well, I thought it was on the arm too, but it won't even fit my arm. That's really funny. This is an accessory set from somewhere. Pearls, bracelet, and the earrings all together. Here's a, ooh, this is cool. That's a cool bracelet. Kind of a gold tone, looks like bronze or something. I know, I cannot believe it, Peachy Peachy. Unbelievable. I would have never thought that was Gucci, but it did feel like a really nice material. Look how cool that is. I love it. Okay, what is this? Are these African beads? I don't think so. They look like this. they want to be, maybe. They're pretty, though. They're black. I think they're acrylic. But it's interesting. They have like a little crazing on them. What do you think this is? So funny. So funny. Here's an Alex, I think. And this one says, I think it's an Alex and Annie. It's got little hallmarks on it, though, so I'm going to read it because I know they make 925, right? And the front of it is um, a palm tree, I think. No, it's not. Um, I don't believe it is. It says Alex and Annie Energy 2013. And it's got some kind of a cross, maybe. It's pretty, though. And then all of these other little tiny things that are not marked either. No 925 on any of these. Bracelet has a little bit of wear. I like the charm. I like this charm right here. It's pretty. Stretch. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. Somebody asked the other day, so I will explain it again. Um, you go over by the screen where you see the video, and below that there are two thumbs. They're blue. Hit the one that's pointing up. That's how you do a thumbs up when you're on the live chat. You have to leave the live chat for a little while. This is strange, guys. Look at this. Why, why is this like this? Like a, a short chain and then a tassel. Very pretty beads, including peachy ones. That's really cool. Super cool. And some big, very lightweight earrings. Those are pretty. Lots of sparkle. Very tinny though, so they're not heavy. Have some kind of braided bracelet with a star. Looks like a lone star from Texas or something. 
and we have this. It looks like it's missing the stone, right? It looks too deep. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, there's the stone, y'all. Nice and big and shiny and bright. There it is. <laughs> Look, this looks like it's missing something. Maybe that black thing goes there. That black and red thing. Look, it has two little... <laughs> two little rings there. Like something should be attached. Hi, Julie. How are you? Oh, my gosh. That's so crazy. This is cute. Oh, it's an earring. I thought it was a bracelet. looked a little small. This is a nice earring. This is leather, too. Interesting. And this looks like some kind of dyed stone. I don't know. It doesn't look natural to me. Just turn it over and bingo. That's right. All right. This is pretty. Kind of a gunmetal as well. Faux marcasite all around it. Hi, Maury. How are you? Hi, Ro. Look at these. Oh, these are precious. Lamp work in the prettiest cobalt blue I've ever seen. Look at that. Look, it's even got like a little eye over there. This one's nice. Oh, my goodness gracious. That is precious. I cannot believe all these years I ignored such beautiful beads. I really didn't start appreciating them until a couple of years ago. Watching YouTube videos and hauls and joining this wonderful jewelry community. It's just incredible that I never realized how gorgeous they are and the amount of work that goes into that kind of thing. Look at that. That is beautiful. Looks like it has a little tag. Let's see what it says. Got a teeny little... Oh, it's a different kind of button. That's what it is. The way that it buttons up like this look at that like a little snap that's cute very cool another alex and annie i think this one says oh i was gonna say i thought it was gold but it's just lost a lot of color but it's pretty completely blessed it says on one the other one says chatty design or charity design i'm not too sure these little tiny beads are so cute aren't they i really need to go in their store and see what they sell i've only seen it in jewelry jars <laughs> and i know they have a brick and mortar store um well they're not open now infused with energy technology they're so cool and i know they're a charity based organization correct or they do that's kind of how they started. Alex and Annie Energy 2013 also. So that's a nice one. This is pretty too. The little crochet beads. And look at this bead at the top. Can you guys see that? That's nice. Look at that. There's like something in the middle too. That's incredible. And then the little crocheted ones. Yes, I hear they're addicting these little Alex and Annie bracelets. You can't stop with just one. Send me a picture, more. I'd love. To, I wouldn't mind looking at it and helping you out if I can. I don't know about um, authenticating it. I can just give you my opinion. Okay, this is a homemade piece. You can kind of tell because. You bug them down with jewelry cloth. I know. I'm telling you, some of the cleaners really work, Jude. I am just, un I mean, I'm so impressed with how they do come clean. See, it looks like they didn't put enough on the findings. So I'll probably put this into a um, beadlock. Yeah, I knew what you were saying, Jude. We can, we can read through the uh, context clues. <laughs> That's what my daughter told me the last time. She's like, I know what you're saying, Mom. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, this is Basil and Hayden. Is this copper too, guys? Have y'all heard of that? 
I've never heard of this one. Basil Hayden. It's a beautiful copper color. I think it's genuine copper. And I don't know who Basil and Hayden is or what. My husband uh, cleaned that beautiful big uh, copper and multi-stone bracelet that we found last time that I that I think I told you guys it looked like a gentleman's bracelet. It looked so nice. It really does. He's wearing it. I need to show it to you though. I'll have to bring it back. This is pretty. This looks like a lucky brand. Well, it's got a lucky charm there anyway. Well, a clover. Nice clover piece. I like these charms. They're beautiful. Now, this is strange. They did a stretch at the front and then leather in the back, but it feels loose. So I'm going to put that in a copper bead. I mean, in a bead lot as well. This is tagged. It's faux leather. Little fashion piece. Oh my goodness, looks like it came from Dillard's or Macy's with that little proof of purchase tag, huh? I think it's leather, but it's bonded leather. And bonded leather means it's an artificial leather at the bottom, see? And then the, I mean at the top, and then the bottom is real leather, and they bond it together. Save a little money that way, but then it kind of wears pretty quick. You have to Take care of it. That's a cute bracelet, though. What is this? Oh, look at that. Butterfly. My ring light is coming out on it. Crazy ring lights. There it is. That's pretty. I don't know why this, some of these are so bright. And then they don't even look right on the jewelry. This is a pretty bracelet. Necklace, I mean. These are wood. It's just a paper they put back there. Pretty picture. I like that. I wish it was a paperweight. It'd be pretty. And it really reflects. Hey, Dana. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we do a lot of these in jarrings. And if you enjoy that, I hope you take the time to subscribe and hit the thumbs up before you leave. This is cute. They just added this bracelet, which is a really cute bracelet with the red and green. Han Han. It's got a little dragonfly. I think they just improvised. They probably lost the band. It probably got worn out. So that's pretty cool. I like the bracelets. They're actually glass. I like the red and green. It's pretty. They're small though, so they made it probably just for the watch because you probably couldn't wear it as a bracelet otherwise. Here is this green one. This kind of looks like adventurine or something. Looks like a gemstone. These are not leather, I don't think. This is just a dangle, no name on it. Here's some more dangles. What do these say? These almost look like they want to say J. Crew. Let me check and see. Yeah, this is really pretty. I think they're adventuring. Oh my gosh, it's so worn. I can't hardly see it. No, nope, there's nothing on there. Nothing at all. But this is a really nice bracelet. Necklace. Why do I keep saying bracelet? Very nice. I like this one. I like the colors. It matches the shirt I'm wearing, actually. Very, very cool. A bracelet with kind of not even glued, but they're kind of like pressed. Faux stones there. Hey, Margaret, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. How are you holding up over there? I wish you the best. Give a hug to those boys. Look at that. And it fits. That rarely happens with a big bangle. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, here we go. What is this? Can I believe that Gucci, guys? That's just an incredible find. 
This says uh, Monique, RG, somebody. It's kind of cute. Rose Gonzalez. That's interesting. Rose Gonzalez. So, um, I don't know, maybe some kind of little cottage industry here, guys. Cute with the little tassels and all. It almost looks like jute or something. Does not look like leather. I like the orange coral color there. It's pretty. I'm not sure where they would sell that. It's got a fancy tag. It really does with a little bead ball. Attachment and everything. Pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> this looks like a J. Crew. I don't know who it was that opened a lot of J. Crew the other day. Maybe it was you, Margaret. But you could tell it was J. Crew. They make such nice things. They almost have an aesthetic all their own. You can just spot it. I don't think I don't know if this is or not, but it kind of reminds me of it. Because they use very nice metals. They're usually prong set. And they're nicely done. This one is not. This one's a loft. And those I tend to get mixed up. <gasps> this one's a loft. Very pretty. I like the antiqued metal on that one. That's kind of cool. Very nice. This is a heavy bracelet, guys, with a pretty little gold star. It also has a tag. Let's see what the little maker tag says. I can't read it without a loop. Katie Loxton. Katie Loxton. I don't know who that is. I found a red one like this, too. Looks like the band it's almost on its last stretch, though. And this one's pretty. Is it gapping there? Yeah, it looks like it was sewn and it's starting to come apart there. These are pretty beads, though. And actually, the entire... No, there it goes. That's a nice closure. That's Yeah, it would have to be repaired. A little thread wouldn't hurt. This could be repaired very easily. That's nice. That's really nice. I'd probably put that on a crafter lot because it requires some work. Whenever something requires a little work or it's got a little bit more wear than I want to disclose in a listing on eBay or anything, I'll just put it in a crafter lot. Here's a little yellow number. We had been finding some yellow jewelry recently. Yes, it is a cameo ring. This is actually a gift from my grandmother. I showed it in one of my collections. It's 10K. It's really pretty. I've always, uh, I think I've told you guys that it actually has a matching brooch and earrings that my aunt still owns. One day maybe she'll hand it to me. I don't know. <laughs> she'll probably outlive me. <gasps> but she still has it. Because she's actually the one who bought it for my grandmother. And my grandmother said that she wanted to give it to me. So she did. And uh, yeah, I love that ring. A little cameo. This is a little tangulation here, guys. What is in it? Okay, there it went. Red. Super. Oh, missing a stone. Missing a stone. And it looks like two, but this one has a little bit of red left on the metal there. Quite a few stones, actually. The rhinestones are missing, too. So this would make... A fantastic harvest lot because of that huge thing. That almost looks like it was already replaced once. I don't know. It looks a little out of place. What do you think? The um, clear rhinestones or the white rhinestones, there are not prong set. None of them are. They're all glued. But they're kind of pretty and they're opaque color. And you never know. I may need a piece that needs all of these pieces. So it's definitely going into my rhinestone lot which is getting really built up right now. Let me show it to you. Because I'll probably sell this, actually. I'll keep it, and then I'll offer it for sale one day. It's nice to have a rhinestone lot, you know, because some of these are contemporary like that one is, but some of them are vintage, and those vintage ones are hard to find. Like that blue down there. Oh, I wish I had something to put that into. It's like a piece of a bracelet just came right off, and that is really, really stunning. Those are really stunning rhinestones in there. Okay. This is a little braided thing, kind of cranberry color. Nice. 
This says, I love summer and you. Aw, that's cute. Very beachy looking. These are kind of champagne crystals on a stretch. Nice stretch though. I wish, I wish more people would use that uh, kind of corded type. I think they last longer than the other type. At least they seem to. Here's a little pendant, kind of blue, silver, and gold tone. How are you, Doug? I like this one. I saw it in the bag. It reminded me of the 60s stuff. This one is Guess, actually. Yeah, it's a Guess watch. This might be a nice one to, to fix up. It's pretty. It looks like a vintage Guess, too, like maybe the 90s or so. Very cool. Fashion jewelry earrings. I think we have a couple of those. Oh, we have them in peach, too. Those are pretty. Gold tone. Little hooks. They're both hooks. French hooks. Oh, look at this earring. I love these cones. I'm wearing that bracelet that we found the other day. I didn't. I wore the earrings, too. But uh, I really like the bracelet. I'm surprised it hasn't fallen on me. The one that's gold tone. I didn't even notice that the toggle has a mark on it, too. Let me look at that real quick. What does it say? Oh, it says the same thing. The 1 over 20 fraction for gold tone. More for the hippie lot. The beach bum hippie lot that I collect. I'm starting a new one. So I gave the other one away. Oh, this one's nice. This is heavy. This is heavy and it has a little vintage type hook. I wonder if it's not a Napier or something. Napier always does the beads. That's really pretty. I'll layer that up with my gold stuff. Yeah. Look, I'll look like a soprano's wife. I love putting that gold on. That's what I used to like about the sopranos, watching the way the women dress. I miss that show. This is cute. This is leather, too. Look at that. I think, so. I don't know. It looks like someone just glued that on there, but it's cute. And this is real leather all the way through, not bonded. It says genuine leather on the inside. It's kind of cute, and I'm telling you, these leather things are so trendy right now. They're really doing the wrap bracelets, the leather bracelets, the Gucci cuffs. <laughs> All that good stuff. Here's a nice wooden one. Can't beat that. Classic wood bangle. This is plastic. Or if you want to elevate its value, you'll call it acrylic, right? You'll call it acrylic in your listing, guys. Remember that. You don't use the word plastic. Oh, this is pretty. You can always take that ribbon off and put regular chains on it. It's a nice color. It's like a peach. No, no, blush. Blush and champagne colors. Wow, that's big. Big and chunky. Nice beads. Some of these look kind of marled and marbled. Very pretty colors. <clears throat> Okay, did we get the other earring or no? Not this one earring. Oh, we did. Here it is. Oh, nice. Is this called cranberry glass? That is so pretty. I love it. I love these beads and these earrings. They're so different. I'm not sure what you would call them because they do have that opalescent color. Would you call it carnival glass or is that only with uh, glassware? This needs a nice little bath. It even looks like they burned it right there. I know. Or like they tried to iron it. <laughs> and it got kind of singed on the ends. Aren't they beautiful? Genie bottle, right? Look at that. That's cute. This is a little wood bead. Stretching. What are these? Oh, these are little metals. Solo ensemble, some kind of prizes for a band, I guess, choir. 
And another pair of these in, in the black. Scarf clip. And let's see what else. Little wood piece in here. That's that's interesting. It almost looks like it's a souvenir of a whiskey bottle. I mean, whiskey barrel or something, doesn't it? I wouldn't doubt if they sell something like that in Tennessee or something. You never know. Okay, here's this little silver stretch. It's cute. It's got little scrolls and beads, and it is all stretch. It's kind of like a spring here. Okay, let's see what else comes out of here. Oh, look at this. Look at those beads in red and green and crystal clear. That's pretty. They even put a little accent bead there. That is so nice. It's got a nice stretch to it too. I like it. I don't know why I like green, but I do. All year long. This is pretty little Southwest design on the watch. Nice big face. What does it say? With, oh, I think it's Venezia. Venezia. I think this was an 80s brand of jeans or something. I'm going to put it in my Christmas box along with these, right? Oh, but I have to wear those another time. Those are just so pretty. We got a mesh ring with the letter M. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Keep an eye out for these mesh rings because Tiffany puts one out. And they could be just as dark with all the patina they can get being put away, so... It's a little addition to the hippie lot. It's a big heavy bangle. I don't think it's silver. Where's my magnet? Let me get it. It's not sticking, but it's maybe copper. I don't know. I'm going to check it out, though. Oh my gosh, it's got a stamp right there. Let's see what it says. Cookie cutter. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. What the hey? Somebody made a cookie cutter. Dual purple. Okay, it says AK. Copyright and Klein. Okay, so it's it's not sterling, I'm sure, but it was probably a really nice bracelet at one time. AK for Anne Klein, I suppose. That's so different, but you're so right. It looks like <laughs> it looks just like a cookie cutter or a biscuit cutter. No, a cookie cutter. Biscuits are not like that. I, I'm so tempted to bake, but then I'll just eat. I better not. Oh my gosh, we got two of these guys. Two of these red and green things, and this one has well, one's red and one's green. Those are so cute. Those are beautiful beads. This one also has the accent white one there. Those are nice. And then the earrings to match. I love that. Yeah, I was telling my daughter, we should make some cookies because my, my son-in-law made some um, a lemon meringue pie. He's an incredible cook. And uh, that's what he made, a lemon meringue pie. He makes pretzels. He makes all kinds of things from scratch. But then I thought, no, I better not. All I need is to have a homemade batch of cookies. I'll eat them all in one sitting. This is a beautiful piece, guys. It's very heavy. Came off of something. So. <laughs> Who lost their Christmas jewelry? I think we got two of these. Yeah, these, we did. Look, I was going to say, did I show it twice already? But no, and these have a few different beads, a little bigger. They look nice together. Look at the tweed in this one. This is so cute. Some of these are just so darling. They really are. 
I think these fell to the wayside. They're all stuck to my little magnet up there, so I don't think they're gold or anything. Just little ones. And we have a soccer ball or a volleyball. What is that? No, it's a, it's a soccer ball. Yeah. I don't see that it says anything on it, but let me check. See if it's not 925. Nothing written on it. Where's the magnet again? It is. <laughs> Did you see that magnet? The magnet's powerful. And here's another charm. Oh, it's a little shoe with cleats. So, wow, not a nice, not a bad bag. Very nice bag, actually. Very nice jewelry jar bag. Starting with the Gucci, ending with the crystals. Cannot believe this Gucci, guys. Again, I can tell it's totally authentic by the understated design in the first place. Yet I recognize all of the logos. Uh, it's even sterling silver and marked as such AG in there and made in Italy as well. So total score on that. I am so excited about that. I'll have to uh, see what those are going for. I've, I've never even seen them, but like I said, these leather things are like really on trend right now. I'm going to check with you guys in the morning. I'm going to try to be doing that daily since, um, you know, just to say hello, have a little morning coffee with you guys, see how everything is holding up because... Um, you know, some of us are doing better than others, and I just think it's a good idea for us to kind of check up on each other and, and try to get our day started. Again, lots of people are on really early, so I'll probably come on a little bit later than that, like 10 o'clock. It's about when I'm pouring my first cup. All right, thank you so very much for being here. Be sure and hit the thumbs up on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Be blessed, and think about others as well. Love y'all. Bye.